Hi, I'm Rajiv, and today I'm going to show you how to make your bed beautiful. And this video was brought to you by Brooklinen. Last fall, I was traveling by bike to Brooklyn regularly to make pottery in a little studio there. I would make my pots and then the pots would have to dry for a few hours until they were leather hard, and then I would come back and trim them, and those pots would be done for the day. So in between, I had uh, like three or four hours every day where I had to leave the pots alone and go out into Williamsburg and wander around. One day when I was walking around exploring Williamsburg, I stopped at a store that sold sheets, and I walked in and was really impressed with the quality of bed sheets. That store is Brooklinen. So what got me about Brooklinen sheets was that they carried linen sheets. Linen sheets are actually hard to find. Most sheets that are sold in department stores are just cotton or polyester or blend. Brooklinen not only had solid sheets, but they had patterned linen sheets. They had things like this, this beautiful striped linen pattern and this is also 100% linen. I love linen sheets, especially in the summertime. Linen is made out of the flax plant, so if you eat things with flax seeds in them or flaxseed oil, it's the same plant. Flax is a plant that is grown, and then the fibers of the stalk are turned into linen, linen cloth. And this is one of the oldest cloths known to mankind. In ancient Egypt, they were growing flax and mummies actually are wrapped in gauze that's made of the finest linen threads. So this is a, a cloth that has a very, very rich history. Linen has the wonderful ability to wick moisture away from the body. Linen can absorb 10 times its own weight in moisture. And that's why in tropical countries, linen is often worn on the body. In ancient Egypt, the pharaohs wore very light, thin linen clothing, and it kept them cool. It kept them cool not only because it was thin, but because the actual fibers themselves pulled sweat away from the body. So, I love linen sheets, especially in the summertime. And in the summer, I usually change my bed. I change my whole scheme of the bed. I go from my winter bed to my summer bed. And that's what I'm gonna show you uh, how to do today, but while I show you how I do that, I also want to show you how to make your bed beautiful, how to make it pretty. We spend a third of our life in bed. I mean, if you're sleeping, if you're sleeping the way you're supposed to be sleeping, you spend a third of your life in bed. I don't, I don't sleep that much. <laughs> but, but I will say that I love being in my bed at the end of a day when I get into my bed, there is always this feeling of, ah, finally I get to sleep for a few hours. And so what I love doing is making my bed a wonderful place to be. I don't just throw sheets on and uh, that's that. I make it beautiful. I actually, when I wash the sheets, I iron my sheets because it feels that much more special to get into a bed where the sheets have been ironed. and. In the different seasons, I actually use different sheets on the bed. So today, what I'm doing is I, I have taken off the winter bedding. I've taken off the sheets and the coverlet from the bed, and I'm turning the bed into my summer bed. When you're picking sheets for your bed, I like to start with uh, a piece of something very special that's gonna go on the bed. So usually I start with the thing that's gonna be colorful or patterned and that's gonna bring some life to the bed. So I'm gonna show you some examples. This right here is a linen and wool coverlet and this was woven by hand by my friend Deborah. This is my winter coverlet. So the, the cream colored threads are linen and the dark browny black color is wool the, the linen is the warp that went on the loom, and the wool is the weft. That's what was thrown across the loom to create this pattern. These coverlets were very, very common in North America in the 1800s. Deborah has encyclopedic knowledge of historic weaving, 
And I commissioned this from her mainly because of the name of this pattern. This was a, a pattern that was documented in a 19th century Ontario weaver's book. And this pattern is called Keep Me Warm One Night. So I, I love this thing so much. And in the winter time, this coverlet keeps me warm. But when it starts to get warm, it's time to switch. And that's what I'm doing today. So I've taken off this coverlet and I'm switching it out for another coverlet that Deborah wove. This is a summer weight coverlet, and this is also historic. In the 19th century, people had different sets of coverlets. They had their winter coverlets, which were heavy, and then they had summer coverlets, also made of wool. This is pure wool, so this, this warp that went on the loom was also wool, but finely spun wool, and this is a lot thinner. These things are what I would call heirloom pieces or treasures. And this was also woven by hand. The colors are all natural dyes. The gray is from sumac, those sort of red cones that you might see on, on bushes that are growing on the side of the highway, a native plant. Those sumac blossoms are boiled in usually an iron pot, and that creates this gray dye. And this yellow is from goldenrod flowers that bloom in the, in the fall. So, and the, the cream color is the natural color of the wool. So I'm saying all of this to show you that this is my starting point. When I think of dressing the bed and making the bed beautiful, I start with an heirloom piece. And if you want to do this yourself, I would suggest finding the thing that's going to inspire you to make the bed beautiful. Maybe you have quilts in your family. Find a quilt that you really love. Make a quilt yourself. Have a quilt made by someone who knows how to make quilts, which I also have. So this was a recent, a recent gift made for me by Pam Sorrells in Florida. And it's a quilt that was made out of the saris that belong to my mom and my grandma. This was entirely handmade. And I love this so much. So these two things are things that will probably go on the bed in the summertime. And what I do is I start with something like this, something that's sentimental, something that is inspiring. And then I go and I find sheets. And when I went to Brooklyn, Inn, they had a variety of gray colored sheets in linen. Their patterns change seasonally. So I was really lucky. Now, the other thing you should do when you're looking for sheets is if you want to make the bed interesting, don't just buy everything the same pattern and the same color. If you can, mix it up. So right now I have the bed made up with the flat sheet, the fitted sheet, and the pillowcase, and everything's the same color. But the great thing about Brooklyn is when you're buying their sheets, you can mix and match the set. So you don't just have to buy a sheet set with all the same pattern. You can actually pick and choose. You can choose to buy a flat sheet in one color and you can choose the pillowcases, for example, in something else. So look at this pillowcase. And then you can choose your duvet cover in, a, in an entirely different pattern or, or in this pattern as well. So this is this is another thing I really love about this company is not only do they make great quality sheets, but they've thought about how people might want to purchase sheets and they make that available to you. You don't have to buy three different sets of sheets. You can mix and match and buy one set of sheets with a bunch of different patterns. So for this bed, what I loved is that I was able to buy the, a flat sheet in one color, the pillowcase in a different color, and look at this. So when I lay my coverlet down here, I can clearly see that both of these things go really well with this coverlet. If it was just, if everything was just this gray, it's, it's nice, but it's not as nice as having some variety here with the grays. I could also potentially, this is what was so nice about this patterned linen, I could put this on the pillow and that looks different. So this is, this is what I love doing. I love trying to figure out how to make everything look beautiful together in a variety of textures and patterns. When I am going out and looking at stuff, 
I love actually being able to walk into a store to look at something and touch it and hold it in my hands. That's really important to me, especially with something like bedding. You can buy things online and then they arrive and then you look at them, but how nice is it to be able to walk into a store and actually feel what things feel like? That's how I gauge if something is, is really made of quality materials and if the construction is made really well. When I walked into that store in Williamsburg and looked at the quality of the materials and the quality of the bedding, I asked to partner with them. I asked them if they would like to make a video with me because this is the sort of thing that I genuinely want to share with you. Something that is made with care and made to last. I want to show you an example of the attention to detail that went into making this bedding. So when I was in the store, I really looked at everything close up. And that's, that's me nerding out. Like when I'm buying a jacket in a store, I turn it inside out, I look on the label, I look at the materials that it was made with, I test the zipper out. I, I, because I've spun wool myself and I've been very familiar with taking wool from a sheep and turning it into cloth, I know about cloth and I know about fibers and I have a lot of sewing experience. So I'm always looking at how something is constructed. Is it, is it made to last? And one tiny little detail that I noticed when I was looking at this in the store is the duvet. So previously, right, when I have a duvet and a duvet cover, I mean, maybe people can relate to this, I put the duvet into the du duvet cover and then as I'm using it, the duvet starts to slip and fall. So it doesn't stay at the top of the duvet cover. So a little thing that you can do is you can, you can sew in little tabs in your duvet cover and on your duvet, and you can tie those tabs together so the duvet stays in place. But when I went into Brooklyn, and I saw that the duvet, they've made it with a little tab here. And then I looked at the duvet cover. Look at this. This was the first time that I had seen someone that had thought about that problem and then actually solved it. So I don't have to sew these tabs into the duvet cover, they're already here. So this is what you do. You tie this to this. This really indicated to me that someone in the company is actually thinking about how the product is used by consumers and solving a problem that is very easy to solve. And now, the duvet just falls into place, but it's gonna stay at the top because it's tied in place. I love this. If you've never tried linen sheets before, I encourage everyone to try linen sheets. They feel very different than cotton sheets, and I like to iron everything which takes time. It just looks really beautiful, but there is equally another beautiful look with everything just kind of unironed. Um, it's the, it's the like, I woke up like this look, which a lot of people like, and linen looks very different than cotton when it's not ironed. If you're, if you get these sheets and you're gonna wash them, take them out of the dryer just before they're dry, like when they're still slightly damp, and hang them up and that eliminates like some of the big messy creases. The, the dampness will help to just sort of take out those creases. So that's, that's my advice if you don't wanna iron. Okay, now I'm gonna make up this bed and show you some different options. If you get really, really hot when you sleep, then maybe you don't wanna cover it at all on your bed, in which case, just the sheets alone look great. So if you're a hot sleeper and you don't always use a cover, then what you can do is put the blanket or the coverlet or the duvet at the bottom of the bed in a tri-fold like this, so it's folded like this with the top towards you. And then when you go to sleep, if you get cold in the middle of the night, and you can pull it from here and it just comes up. This also just looks nice when the bed is made just with the sheets and the duvet cover. It looks very cozy. 
I should tell you about this bed. This bed is from 1830, and it's what my friends call Rajiv's princess bed, because it has because <laughs> it has it has a canopy. This is historically this is called a tester. So this is a tester bed, and it would have been covered with cloth. It would have been covered over the top with cloth, and it would have been it would have had hangings on the side. And in in 1830 in this part of the world where it was really cold in the winter what you would do is you would get into bed and you would actually draw the curtains and your body heat would create a little space that would stay warmer than everything just being exposed to the room so when i when i found this bed i thought this is the perfect bed for my bedroom in new york because it's not going to take up a lot of space and i could do yoga and i can work at my desk and then when people come to visit like people are coming to stay over, visitors, then the couch actually in the living room opens up into a fold-out bed. And when I have overnight guests, we sleep on the couch. So two people cannot fit in this bed. Trust me, I've tried. It doesn't work. <laughs> so here is the very simple version of the bed. Flat sheet, fitted sheet, pillowcase and duvet cover with a little bit of variety. This looks beautiful and simple on its own. Okay, this is a very simple way to make the bed, but now I'm gonna show you how I like to make the bed with Deborah's coverlet. So, In the summertime, this really is my ritual. I take off, keep me warm one night, and I put on the goose eye. That's this pattern, goose eye, because it has little goose eyes on it. Oh, and this year, with these beautiful gray sheets, I really like gray. Uh, I painted these walls gray, and when I found these gray sheets in linen, I was like, oh, these are perfect. This is what I do. I cover it on and I line it up so that this flat sheet is going to hold the coverlet. Now, question. When you go to hotels and the flat sheet is folded over like this, do you know why the flat sheet has this fold over? There is a practical reason. It's to keep this clean. So when you go to sleep, if you pull up the duvet or if you pull up the blanket, you're supposed to take the flat sheet and put it over top of that blanket or the duvet because this wide part is what's gonna to be touching your face and your body while you're sleeping. And this is what gets soiled. So this is to protect this from getting dirty so you don't have to wash this as often as your sheets. I don't throw this in the washer every week. I wash the sheets every week. And that's what this is for. So there's a very practical reason for this fold over. Okay. I like to line it up with the length of the sheets so that it just looks neater. And then this is the exciting part, mixing the patterns. So I'm gonna tuck this in down here. Now, let's see, what pillow do I want? This light gray? Or dark gray? Oh, the dark gray. Beautiful. And duvet goes back on. Don't be afraid of color. Don't be afraid of bright colors. I think we're so used to being told at the moment or shown at the moment everything white everything gray, everything monochromatic, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
but don't be afraid. Find something bright. You can put the monotone, monochromatic stuff around it, but when you have something bright, and, and these sheets, they do come in bright patterns. So when you see your bed and there's some pattern and some color, I don't know, it just feel like that's, that's what's exciting about this. So here's the bed made up with the heirloom piece in it. And this, this is, I think, how the bed's gonna live for the summer. I just think this is so beautiful. Mixing the old, the traditional, with the new, the sleek. And the fact that the grays of the sheets pull from the gray of Deborah's work, it makes me happy. There's my bed, all made up for the summer with these wonderful linen sheets. If you would like to purchase Brooklyn in sheets, check out the description of this video for a promo code and a link to Brooklyn in. Thank you, Brooklyn.